Hi, this is Atiya here. Welcome to PhD Preneur, where we discuss PhD mindset and personal finance. This will be a personal video. I was asked on Instagram, what was the reason I started my journey? I also started reflecting back. It's been one year, over one year since I started YouTube. It's been one year and six months to be precise. Today is 31st May as I'm filming this video. In two days, it is going live. What was the reason why I started YouTube? What were the concerns? What was going in my head when I started YouTube? So I thought of sharing that. I will share what, what was my background and my mental state before starting YouTube. What were the reasons for starting YouTube? Third, what have I gained in this one and a half year of journey? So without further ado, let's begin with today's story. I would categorize my timeline as far as this video is concerned to the one where I enrolled for PhD after that and one before PhD. So let's have a look at before PhD scenario. I was working as assistant professor. I worked for a couple of years. In between I cleared net. So when you clear net there at that point at least uh, within two years you have to activate your fellowship otherwise it goes waste utilizing my JRF fellowship and I thought of taking admission for PhD. Now between my masters and the starting of PhD there, there were many years where some years were dedicated to net preparation, some years I worked. So it is not it was not continuous. One thing I realized when you get used to a certain kind of lifestyle or a certain kind of treatment from others and suddenly you are thrown in this ocean of research getting used to that may take time effort on my side and i'm sure on part of others also if you have worked even for six months and you have enrolled for phd you must you must be knowing what i'm trying to say so that was my situation the kind of behaviors that were being thrown on long story short it was i was taking time to adapt if you boil down the entire PhD definition to a single line, it is finding a solution to the problem. So even if people have done research earlier, you still have to navigate your own way and the path is uncertain. And whenever there is uncertainty, there is always an element of anxiety. And in my case, it was, tri uh, it was many fold. Stress started reflecting in my health also. A lot of my skin conditions which had earlier healed came with more force and more aggression when I got in, when I started getting into the groove of work. One thing I observed is that the system lacks a bit of accountability. Anyone comes, says something and uh, that person goes. It is a very flawed definition of humility. I don't think submitting to bullying would be a good way to be humble so anyways i found myself getting misrepresented and in the middle of controversies overly misrepresented now i don't know because it was of my hypersensitive nature or because uh, i couldn't be diplomatic because usually i would rather speak straight than beat around the bush sometimes what happens is when you are an introvert there are possibilities to for misunderstandings so all this was going on and the rumors and everything got fueled by some of them around me so that added that added like aag mein petrol ka kaam and i started experiencing this loss of control symptom with respect to mindset the covid time i took admission on 1st august 2019 just a couple of months later there was covid lockdown and everything that also acted as a trigger and I felt the need to have a place or something that is fully under my control where I can control the output. YouTube became my go-to place to vent out my frustration, to speak out whatever I was feeling which I otherwise couldn't. It also acted as a defense mechanism that some something is there which is my own where the output is under my control because that was not happening in my PhD. 
so i got something an alternative for this with regard to this particular point i have made one video why phds are always frustrated so anyway moving on to the next youtube also acted as a place to fuel my creativity whenever there is one video i don't just come here and go around speaking i research i find out about facts and since through research i get to know a lot of insights about what is happening in neuroscience about what are the different things which are occurring we often look for validation around for our work but then sometimes youtube became for me that place where i got validation people started commenting of filming this video we are at 400 subscribers which i am quite grateful for and i am hoping that this community will grow further i started get, getting questions related uh, to net exam to phd and i thought of this as an excellent opportunity opportunity to share whatever experience i had uh, insights that i have got in all these years of my existence that's how things have been for me since i started youtube and i am now getting back on instagram a lot of things have changed more people know me i feel i can put my skills to the correct use the mental segregation which was required to handle something in phd which i was struggling with that came when i got youtube in place i am able to ignore stuff which i don't like because i know that there is something which is there which i am really passionate about the hypersensitive and blunt nature is often seen as a negative trait but for youtube it is a blessing in disguise as i am able to figure out the content ideas like this i have a full plan of next 90 days what what all i am going to shoot what i am going to film uh, which ideas to give more priority to which ideas to give less priority to what is happening in the niche and what all things that i need to work on these realizations come before taking admission for phd my mindset was quite linear clear net exam take admission for phd complete phd take job as assistant professor or lecturer but i can see a 180 degree shift perspectives have completely changed uh, beyond my imagination let's see where life takes me i was apprehensive about today's video whether i should do it should not do it for me uh, sub starting from zero reaching 400 subscribers uh, only you know how tough it is to grow on youtube if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments till then bye